What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. This is not the first time I've made a Marvel Heroes video, but this is not Marvel Heroes. This is Marvel Heroes Omega, and yes, we are on that PlayStation 4 right now. It will be coming to Xbox One soon. This is the beta. It is available as of making this video in Europe. It'll be available in North America at roughly uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you're watching this video before then, hang tight, keep checking the store, it'll be there. There are 38 characters available at launch on the consoles, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And I just did a two hour plus live stream uh, where I showed off lots of gameplay. Definitely check out that video. But for now, let's go ahead and check out all the characters and costumes that are available at launch. So we're going to go into the roster. And as you will see, it's got the three characters I currently have unlocked at the top. Uh, here we have Spider-Man. Uh, I do have the Spider-Man pack at the moment. And uh, there he is, the Spider-Man. Probably the most popular comic book character in all of Marvel Comics. Um, I think Deadpool is closing in on number two, uh, but top five, I mean, top three, it's basically him, Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man, Batman, and Superman, I would say, are, are the top three ever. Um, so there are four co oh, Whoops, I did not okay. mean to do that, but the sarcasm. we did. <laughs> um he has four costumes. Uh, so this is the Civil War movie. And he also has the amazing costume, uh, which is amazing. Uh, he That one actually does not come with the Founder Pack. Uh, so you have to purchase that one. Um, the modern costume does come with the Founder Pack. So there you go. There is Spider-Man. And if you purchase all of the Founder Packs... I guess there are five Founder Packs total. Avengers, X-Men, Spider-Man, Deadpool, and one other. Um, if you purchase all of them, you get this timed exclusive symbiote Spider-Man costume as part of it. Uh, so there you go. That's Spider-Man. Next, we have my main man, Rich Rider. Broke my heart this week. Uh, they canceled his comic. Uh, I don't understand why. Uh, give him a chance, but uh, he's still here for us. This costume is so sick. They just did a, a visual update for it. The helmet's a little off, but whatever. Um, he has two costumes at launch. Uh, his Richard Ryder Nova Prime costume, and then the Sam Alexander Nova Black Vortex Enhanced costume. A little surprised they didn't use Sam Alexander, uh, his own costume. Uh, at launch, but, you know, it is what it is. They'll be adding them, I'm sure, as we go on. Uh, next, of course, you know, my dog's name is Thor, so I had to make sure I got the God of Thunder himself. In the, in my household, he is known as the God of Slobber, but I digress. Uh, so this is Thor. Um, they are calling it the modern costume. Uh, this is from the Heroic Age, uh, so... I don't. I love the costume from the neck down, and this is not a fault of Gazillion at all. They 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 did it to a T, but like I just don't love his face. It's like all smashed in. Uh, they did bring over Jane Foster, the Imposter, uh, A.K.A. Not really Thor, uh, just some chick that could pick up a hammer, and it's an enhanced costume, so it's gonna cost you fourteen fifty. But why would you really want that when you can have this guy right here, this smoldering hunk of Norse god? Anyway, um, Thor, Age of Ultron movie costume. I mean, you can have the Chris Hemsworth version, even though I think they kind of added a little bit to his arms, but I ain't complaining. So there you go. Uh, speaking of Thor, how about his sister, Angela, right here? Uh, you can see the prices of the characters down below, um, right under her name, 450G and 200 Eternity Splinters. She is a pretty cheap character, and honestly, uh, I will probably spend Eternity Splinters on her. Uh, she's 
a great character to play as in the game, and I absolutely love her 1602 costume. Uh, this costume is just gorgeous. I love this costume. Uh, so that is Angela. I think she's going to play really well on the console. Um, so next up we have Ant-Man. Uh, this is his Scott Lang costume right here. And they also have the Ant-Man costume. Uh, movie. The Ant-Man movie costume. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so there we go. Uh, he is 900G or 400 Eternity Splinters. Are you? I hate bots. Here is Beast. Uh, this is his Uncanny Inhumans costume. From his current run. And then this is his astonishing X-Men costume. Oh, My name's Squirrel Girl. Maybe you've heard of me? Uh, Squirrel Girl's out there somewhere. Um, Black Panther, man. Uh, You're not a bot, are you? I hate bots. Has his classic costume and his Civil War movie costume. Black Widow. Uh, you've got her classic costume. Avengers movie costume and Age of Ultron costume. Hold on. Who is near me? I need to go hide somewhere real quick. Are you? I hate bots. We're just going to go hide over here where we're not surrounded by all that racket. So there's Spider-Man in the water. Um, so next up we have Blade, who, I mean, from what everybody was saying in the stream, uh, Blade is pretty OP. I do not play Blade very much, and I was actually a little surprised he made the cut, but what do I know? Uh, you've got his original costume as well as his modern. So there's the original and modern. Uh, next up, we have Captain America. I am saluting. You can't see me. Um, he looks really sharp here, man. This costume's dope. Um, so he's got four costumes at launch. He has the Captain. Uh, he has Marvel Now. Can't wait for that Hydra costume. He has Classic. And he has Age of Ultron. Uh, next up we have Captain Marvel. And my lord, she is looking pretty good. Loving. I love this costume. Um, like in general, not, not just in the game, but like, I really feel like this was a really good, good look for Carol Danvers. Um, so she has her Captain Marvel costume. And she has her classic Miss Marvel costume. So, there you go. Uh, next we have Colossus. His modern. And his Marvel Now, which I love his Marvel Now costume. This is when he was in, like, X-Force with... Uh, it, was, it was Cable, Domino, uh, Phantom X... Like Forge, I think. And uh, I want to say there was one other person. Um, so there you go. Gambit. And Gambit is looking sharp. Uh, this costume... like I didn't think it was possible for a game to look better on console than it does on PC. And this costume is one of the ones that really does it for me. Um, so there is his modern solo costume. And there is his classic Gambit costume. So, there you go. Next we have Doctor Strange. He's the one that makes me feel, feel good. I can't sing. So he's got his classic costume. And his movie costume. Oh, 
Oh man, my man Deadpool. Look at him. Love it. Love what they've done with his costume. Uh, so he comes with three costumes available. Uh, you've got the Deadpool Kid, which is an enhanced costume. And you have the Zenpool costume. Be no time before he has like a million more costumes. And we have Cyclops. Cyclops is right. Also, notice Deadpool 600 Eternity Splinters. He's one of the more expensive uh, characters. I actually haven't been paying attention. They're all about 900 and 400, but Deadpool's pretty expensive. I think Jean Grey is too. Uh, so here's Cyclops. He has three costumes. Uh, this is the Astonishing X-Men costume, which looks like is his default. Uh, you have the Marvel Now costume. And then you have the 90s X-Men costume. All of them fantastic. Ghost Rider. Oh my goodness. Can you believe how awesome he looks? Um, yeah, man. Like This is another one that does it for me, man. He just looks awesome. So there is Ghost Rider. And he also has his original costume. Which even that looks good, you know? Uh, Hawkeye. So, classic costume. I'm super partial towards. And uh, then you have the Age of Ultron movie costume. A little surprised they didn't include Kate Bishop. She's very popular. Looks fine. Then you have the Hulk. Uh, we all go home now. And he's looking huge. Uh, you have Age of Ultron Hulk. And then my favorite, uh, Marvel Now. I mean, his hair is a little, little flat, but I don't know. This has always been the Hulk costume that I used. Although, like, I think the Planet Hulk costume that they just updated looks really good. So uh, there is Hulk. Uh, we have Iceman. So there is his modern costume. And then you have his all-new X-Men costume. I like the colors of it. I just don't know. Like I don't like the boyishness of it. Uh, next we have Kitty Pride. Is that Lockheed? I forget the name of her dragon. I think it's Lockheed. So there's her modern costume. Surprised she didn't get a Star Lord costume yet. There is her Age of Apocalypse costume. Uh, Jean Grey, there she is, the same price as Deadpool, that more enhanced price. So uh, there is her Phoenix costume. Then we have her new X Men costume. And 90s, 90s X-Men costume. Sweet. Uh, next up we have Iron Man, who also is pretty expensive. Uh, 13. Uh, which surprises me, because they're going to have so many costumes for him. I would have thought they would have made him a little bit cheaper. And had people just buy his million costumes. Um... He only comes with three at launch. You got the extremist armor, which honestly looks dope. I don't really even use that during the when I play him in the real game or in the PC. But uh, you also have the Age of Ultron costume. Mark 43. And then the Starboost costume. And this, this one's awesome. This is one of my defaults, the one of the ones that I play with the most when I play as um, Iron Man. So, that is just sharp. Uh, we have another Founder Pack exclusive. Uh, this is Iron Fist. And this is the Weapon of Agamotto costume. And then we have the Netflix costume. The Finn Jones version. We have Luke Cage. Luke Cage. 
And then, of course, we have his Netflix costume. Sweet. Magic is surprisingly one of the most popular characters in the game. It's insane how popular she is. So, there's that. Um, her Phoenix Force costume is phenomenal. You cannot get magic without getting that costume. You have to... Like, this is a must-have costume. So... There's the Phoenix Force magic. You have Moon Knight with his uh, brass knucks. So he had his Mr. Knight costume, which, uh, you know, I didn't really follow that line. So, And then you have his Marvel Now costume where he's incorporating a lot more black. So there you go. Uh, and last on this row, we have Psylocke, who is actually a lot of fun to play. Uh, was it Betsy Braddock? Um, I believe her brother is Captain Britain. So she has uh, her classic costume and her Lady Mandarin costume. So pretty, pretty cool. I always liked this costume. Uh, She-Hulk, actually looking really good on uh, on the console. She has her single green female. And then she has her Law and Disorder, which is an awesome costume. I like that one a lot. Uh, next up, we have the Scarlet Witch. Hey! Uh, so, Scarlet Witch used to be one of the starter characters you could get. They were like... They used to do it where when you signed up, you got like one of five characters or six. She used to be one of them. So, um, this is her classic costume. You've got the Civil War movie costume. And then, of course, you have the Wiccan costume. So, uh, definitely one of the more popular enhanced costumes that they have. Uh, so, we've got Rocket Raccoon. I don't remember him being in this specific suit, but My spider sense, your it obviously happened. Las Vegas, what do you say? So, he has his uh, Guardians, and then he has his movie costume. Uh, whoops. They started this, but I'll finish it. Well, he's got his uh, Marvel's Daredevil costume. I'm ready for anything. All right, so we got through Punisher. Next, we have the worst character in all of Marvel Comics, the very beatable Squirrel Girl. Very cheap, which is not surprising. You have her modern costume and her unbeatable Squirrel Girl costume, so pretty straightforward. All right. We have Star-Lord. They actually went with Legendary as his default costume, which is kind of crazy. Looks good. Um, very sleek. And then his movie costume from Guardians 1 is his other costume. Next we have Storm. And st oh, I keep pressing the wrong now button. The um, let's do this again. Uh, Storm is looking too amazing. In her astonishing X-Men costume. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. So. Astonishing X-Men costume. Uh, then you have War Machine. Who is a PlayStation Plus pack exclusive. Which is unfortunate. Uh, that is his initiative costume which I typically use. And then there is his Civil War movie costume. So, 
There you go there. And last but not least is Wolverine. And uh, there is his modern costume. Uh, then he has his classic brown. And you have Old Man Logan. All right. And that is it. So, we'll switch back to my man, Nova. Somebody call for the Nova Corps? I called. All right, so there he is. There's Nova. Uh, that is all the characters that are available at launch. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you. Nice armor, but I'll stick with mine. Actually, um, let me actually just go ahead and say, you know, you are going to want to probably pick up a uh, founder pack if you want to play the, um, the actual uh, beta, the closed beta. It is a closed beta. It should be in the store here shortly. Um, obviously, it's not at the moment, as you can see. But it will be, and you'll have full reign of all your characters. Game is phenomenal. I love this game. Uh, I've been playing since beta on the PC. Spent tons of money. Uh, you'll definitely want to get a founder pack. They're like 20 bucks, between 20 and 60 It's worth throwing down 20 trust me. Um, but yeah. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you.